Okay, here we are, folks. Due to popular demand, everybody's been asking me to actually finally do a podcast. And um, we've started. Uh, it's a good thing that we do this because we, we're from Australia. Um, my name's Chris Asterian, and the producer is uh, Jackie Stone. As you've noticed from the accent, obviously Australian. And uh, we live in a pretty good country in Australia. Um, probably the reason why a lot of people around the world want to come here. But there's a thing going on in the world, and there's, it's called the, the truth movement. There's a lot of injustice in the world, and um, that's why we've decided to actually do a podcast. We're doing a podcast to get the voice out there, because a lot of people don't get an opportunity to have a voice. They come from very impoverished countries. And uh, so since we come from a developed country that seems to have all the goodies, we're going to represent. And here we are. There's a thing going on with the truth movement and um, also the other movement, which is what you might call the spiritual movement, okay? But it's funny because as far as I'm concerned, they're both one and the same. Because what happens in life is that it's all about knowledge. The more data you can integrate into your consciousness and understanding, the more you will be able to perceive things that go on in life and the better you'll get at understanding situations so therefore you can deal with them in a, in a, in a, in a better way. Um, a lot of people are going, going away into the spiritual side of things and we've got to understand that as an entity, we're actually born spiritual. Everybody on the planet is actually a very, a very spiritual individual. But as soon as we come out of the womb, we're already spiritual. So to put all these other layers, you know, due to dogma, you know, whatever society's done to us, um, indoctrination from our parents and so forth, at the end of the day, the fact of the matter is that we are spiritual. You know, maybe we've put on too many layers. We've put on so many layers that we've actually lost our way. And then these people who tend to go off and find, you know, they're traumatised, whatever, they've had some some serious dilemmas in their lives and they go off into retreats or they go to Sedona's and they go to Ayers Rock here in Australia. And that's all fine. But what I believe is that we've got to take layers off, not put more on. Anyway, I, I believe it's, it's a time right now. That it's, it's come to a um, catalyst, a crossroads, where it's time for the truth movement and the awareness spiritual guru movement to mesh into one. Well, why do I say that? Because they're in of each other. They're one and the same. Okay? And um, we should all be aware that in order to create some sort of change, we might actually have to get a little physical, you know. We might actually have to hit the streets. Okay, look, online, online activists is great. There's no, no problem with that. Um, education is awesome. And this is what it's all about. We're all trying to get to a higher consciousness in order to understand that, um, in, in order to get to a perception where, Everything in our existence is seen for what it really is because over the last probably 80 years, um, through groups like Davistock Institute and then Hollywood and the music industry, we've been deceived. We've been deceived. And we've been taken away from our natural existence. Uh, so it's time that... As, 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 a, as a people of this planet, that we unite, we, we eradicate all, all discrimination of, of what it is to be, you know, black, white, blue, green, um, you know, whatever. Religion, for instance, is, is one of the, look, you know, I'm not going to knock religion all the way because there's spiritual aspects to religion which actually can assist a person in their lives. But... What we've got to understand is that the establishments that have moved into religion have geared us towards a path which is all, all based on monetary gain, okay? And not only monetary gain, but um, 
a gain of power. And um, we have to retract and pull away, just like a person who's been traumatized in their lives, whether it be abuse at home or whether it be abuse somewhere at work, and retract and actually recoup and reassess. We have to reassess people. We have to realize that we are, really are all one and the same, okay? And, and, and we've got to stop all this division, okay? The division is just not getting us anywhere. This is a tool of certain individuals who want to gain power and wealth. And, of course, you know, um, via materialism, when you have individualism, you sort of are able to sell more products to those individuals, right? Because you have different factions, different genres. And that's all fine. That's all cool. There's no issue with that. But as long as it doesn't divide you to a point where it's us versus them. Because that's what they want, you know. If you remember George Bush's greatest speech, um, you're either with us or you're against us. You know, like, what's he talking about? You know, how, how dare an individual like that in a position of power like that um, divide the masses? What, you know, and we, we're all aware of what they're trying to do. We understand it. That's, that's just totally wrong, okay? We're all one and the same, and it's best we start acting like it, okay? And there's a thing in life, and it's not too hard to work out, and that's that we should all be kind to one another, have more compassion, and um, allow ourselves to share. Because this is the beauty of things like Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, whatever, okay? Um, the bottom line is they're an instrument which allows everybody to share. Well, let's share, okay? Let's actually start sharing and start caring. Thank you.